I am bringing to you the latest sad news about uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. <laughs> this is not good news at all. Actually, it's very sad news from uh, the Speaker's camp. Yes, I am bringing to you the latest sad news from uh, the Speaker of Parliament, uh, that is uh, Jacob Olanya. But before we bounce into that, a very good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. In case you haven't, kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and uh, do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, for the past two days, uh, the death rumors of the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, have been making rounds on different social media platforms. Uh, some people have openly said that the Speaker was poisoned and uh, died long time, so the government is trying to find a way to break the news to Ugandans. But you know what? I said no. Guys, let's not rush to announce the big man dead. You know, it's not nice to announce someone when they are still alive. I mean, I mean, that is not a good habit that is not a good culture anyway the latest news from uh, the hospital in seattle where jacob olanya is admitted indicates that uh, the big man is alive and not dead as many people had circulated the news on social media however the sad part about this latest news is that uh, jacob olanya is very 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 sick and uh, he really needs our prayers actually nobat mao the president of the democratic party through his social media platform he has communicated that uh, I'm with the Chief Justice Oweni Dolo, uh, the Deputy Speaker, that is Anita Monk, uh, the Health Minister, I want to think that is uh, Rutha Cheng, and uh, the Speaker's brother in Seattle, where the Speaker is hospitalized. A man who is very ill deserves our prayers. Above all, let's respect his privacy and that of his family. The Deputy Speaker will soon issue a statement. It is well. Yes, that is a statement from uh, the, you know, the president of uh, the Democratic Party. As we all know that uh, they traveled all together to check on the speaker's health. And uh, to me, the key statements or the key words to note in this statement is that um, very ill. That is the first statement to note. Very ill. And uh, the last statement, it is well. Those two statements for me, they feel okay. They are not sounding that bad. But of course, uh, to me, I feel like we should note them. That really shows you that. Uh, the big man is not okay and uh, let's just continue to pray for him uh, so that he gets back to his feet. I remember recently, uh, I think uh, yesterday but one, uh, Honorable Bobby Wine uh, through his social media platforms communicated that guys, let's not jubilate about uh, you know the deteriorating uh, health status of uh, the Speaker of Parliament. I mean, I have seen people on social media jubilating and just waiting for breaking news but uh, Bobby Wine said uh, that culture is a very bad one. It is not really nice for us to jubilate when someone is on a deathbed you get so i uh, i think right now we need to get to our knees and pray for this big man at the end of the day he remains our man he's a speaker of parliament so he really needs serious prayers so that he gets back to his feet and do his work he's supposed to do right here in the country that is the latest news right here on the buzz ug and uh, definitely for me uh, right here on the buzz ug i want to wish him a very very quick recovery uh that is it subscribe to the buzz ug in case you have haven't and also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications thank you